Really kind of a follow up. I would say that sometimes when you connect with the person and I always tell them, send them an, an, a message when you're connecting, let's say, hi, Billy, I saw you doing an interview with someone and I like your conversation and like to connect with you because I want to be surrounded by like minded people. And then you accept. And then there is kind of becoming like a silence. And it's becoming one way communication. You know, I send you messages, happy birthday, Merry Christmas, happy Thanksgiving. How is the world? How is your life? How, you know? right. And then there's nothing in the other side. But as you know, on LinkedIn, you can see that the person is seeing the messages. So doesn't that kind of give discourage the person that's trying to build a relationship? But at the same time, maybe you can understand that he doesn't want to build a relationship. So how can we navigate that? Great question. Here's what I'll say. If the message that you're sending is very generic, don't mm-hmm. expect an answer back. And the reason why that's important is mm-hmm. I got hundreds of mm-hmm. happy birthday messages. I'm grateful. I appreciate that people sent them, mm-hmm. but it takes a long time to respond back to each one. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, and I'm not saying that it's, it's, I, sh- I shouldn't do it or I can't do it but it, it takes a long time and I know I'm not alone. So the first yeah. thing I would say is when you first connect with somebody, you've just, what you've described is great because you said something very personal. But hey, I saw, I saw your post here. Be very specific. So there's four parts. Number one, say something specific about that other person. Number two, say something specific about you, why, you know, who you are and why, why are you sending them a note? And number three, make sure that it's, it's heartfelt and that it's genuine, that it comes from a, a genuine place, that it doesn't feel like it's a sales pitch, right? Yeah. And then number three, simply ask them, hey, if you're open to connecting, I would love to connect. So that's the connection. But I know your question's about the follow-up after yeah. that. After which that, is, yeah. it goes silence. Yeah. Here's why. If the conversation feels generic or, or, or very uh, superficial, mm-hmm. a lot of times people won't respond. So I would get very specific in the follow-up as well. And so an example would be, it doesn't need to be long, but it should be, it should be like a conversation. Think about having a, a barbecue in your backyard. How would you talk to somebody there? So yeah. you, you would have more of a, a natural, organic, and free-flowing conversation. So it, it's, it's actually a, a conversation that you would want to give them something inspirational to, 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 to comment back on, to say something back. And so um, when you send something that a lot of other people are sending, like if you get notified, oh, it's this person's work anniversary and you say happy anniversary or when you say happy birthday or happy Thanksgiving, all those different things, Mm -hmm. people are getting a bunch of messages that say the exact same thing. So I would watch the crowd go in the opposite direction. And so you could even say, hey, I'm sure you're getting a ton of birthday messages. So I wanted to make sure I wish you happy birthday. I also wanted to say I really loved your recent post mm-hmm. where you describe the difference between different types of podcasters. I would, you know, and so th- then you've caught their attention. Yeah. So how can you make your message stand out from all the other messages that are going out there? The last thing I'll share is people are allergic to people who are selling things on LinkedIn. Yes. So if you're yeah. selling something or if it's perceived that you're selling something, be really mindful of the language you use so that it doesn't come across as spammy. Now, don't get me wrong. There's ways in which you could find out if people are potential yeah. clients or customers, but bear in mind that a lot of people won't respond. So if your objective is to build relationships and connections, yeah. then make it about the relationship and the connection, not about how they're going to potentially be your client. I believe one time I was interviewing Adam Bozen and he was saying to me, something similar saying that, especially after connection, they automatically send you a sales pitch. That's right. And describe saying that someone is knocking the door to you and then you open the door and then instead of saying, hi, how are you building a relationship? They want to sell you. And then the person says, I don't know. I cannot buy from you. So you need to build that relationship. And maybe you should have 10 people that you really want to build relationship and follow them and ask specific questions when they are posting. I think that would be also a good strategy. Well, think about this thing. If you're net, if you're at a networking event and you meet somebody and you have some small talk, you get to know somebody, you learn a little bit about them. And then right after that happens, you see them again. And then it's an immediate sales pitch. And the first thing they say is I'm a coach. 
I wanted to see if you had any interest. Like it was just, it feels very unsettling and off putting. Yes. So imagine you're talking to a person in real life. It should be no different. Be yeah. casual and, and, and be a human. Don't, don't go into your sales pitch immediately. Like th there's time for that. I mean, yeah. it, it, you got to play the long game, build a relationship. Yeah. And as you build, most of my customers at Potify are people that I've built a relationship with over a long time. And, yeah. and, and I didn't try to sell them something immediately. Yeah. I got to know them. I got to understand them. I got to learn about them. I got to ask them questions about them because I care about them. Mm -hmm. And then guess what? When the opportunity came where I had a, a, a service that I could provide for them, they're the ones coming to me. Mm -hmm. I don't do outreach. I, mm -hmm. The customers that I have, they all come to me. They're all inbound. And nothing against people that do outbound marketing. I totally get that in some cases yes. you need to do that. And there's, there's philosophies and approaches that you could take. But mm -hmm. I believe that if you're great at building relationships, business will come to you and opportunities will come to you.